Coke Machine for Real Fishing, January 15th, 2023. Here I am at the Sunset Park launch. As you can see, a lot of people are stacking up their huts, getting them ready to get out onto the lake. Looks like a few people have parked their trucks on the ice right here at the landing. From what I understand, Mark Wolf mentioned that it freezes right down to the bottom in this area. Looks like people are getting out in the ice a little more confidently. Now, you can see behind me here, there's definitely a lot more huts out here in the permanent fashion and a lot less of the pop-up style hut. Things are happening out here. Driving along the lakeshore, I saw one pop-up near the turd plant and otherwise it was relatively empty out there. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna go out and poke around just around the government dock there and see if that ice around there is finally coming together. We're coming down to the last few ice reports. There's a few spots that need to be mentioned like around the dock and whatnot. But overall, it seems like things are starting to unfold and I really am looking forward to transitioning from reporting on the ice to fishing and fishing a lot. Let me tell you something. Opening day on Calendar Bay is now available through Spotify, TikTok, and all major digital outlets. And I dare you, I dare you to call up the local radio station and demand that they play opening day on Calendar Bay over the radio. It's ready to go. You can also try to get them to play I Cook With Ice, but I feel like opening day on Calendar Bay is a little more radio friendly. This episode is brought to you by the Minnow Clapper. To give you guys a good impression on how I'm using the money that I'm earning from Minnow Clappers, not that I've earned a lot, but I broke my mixing headphones and I got myself a new set of mixing headphones for 250 bucks. I have to have good ones for mixing all those tunes, so I definitely am making good use of that Clapper cash. Not that I've made a fortune or anything, but to everybody who contributed, that's definitely given me a few extra bones to add to my regimen of ice report slash four wheel fishing related materials. Today is negative seven, which seems kind of balmy compared to how it's been over the last couple days, because it's been really chilly. I understand that the bite is on out there, or that it at least has been on for the last couple days. I unfortunately have not been able to get out there and, and get into that bite myself, but I will soon. Around this area there is some slush just behind me here. I don't know how bad it is out on the lake but with this snow and some sort of thin areas of ice it's bound to happen. So let's take a look at some of the reports I received from across the lake. Regan Thompson from Paradise Cove Lodge also told me that he nearly got his ATV stuck in slush in the west arm there. So I guess slush is all around. So Corey G sent me a video of my old neighbor Ray Jolicoeur and Jesse Picard measuring the ice around Yellick. So we're about uh, 400 yards from, how many inches, Ray? Four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. Eight inches at the crack? Yeah. Eight inches at Nine the crack? Inches. Nine inches there. Nine inches? Yeah, at the crack. Okay, and uh, we're about how far away from shore? I would say what, a good 500? Yeah. 500, 550? Right at the crack. Jacques Mago sent me a message stating, we're at the Goose Island. Ice is not consistent, ranging from four to 12 inches from Jocko Point. Thanks for that info. It seems to me there's lots of inconsistency out there, so be careful, everybody. Mark Parent sent me a message on January 10th. He sent me a few pics and he said, I was right near Target and there was about three to five inches of ice. Lots of variance there as well. Jeff Vanderkoy sent me an email stating, Hey Coke, thanks for all the reports you put out this season. As you have said in the past, no ice is safe ice. I went out on a lake tour today. Down in Calendar, south of the lighthouse, a hut went through the ice. And you got a picture of that there. Here's some other pictures of South Bay from the car park off of Sunset Cove. The operators are getting huts out. Looks promising. I as well was down at the south end of the lake and I saw a lot of operators getting their game going on. Seems like people are parking out on the ice. Out on the lake, the operators have their huts a little bit closer into the launch, but from what I heard, the bite has been on from all the operators I talked to. So things are coming together. It's not quite perfect yet, but we're really close. I hope everybody liked the spoon toss video. If anybody wants to buy minnow clappers, I have about 30 of them left, and I'm hoping they get rid of them all. We'll see. So check out my website, buy them up, and Enjoy the fishing if you're getting out there already. I'm looking forward to getting out there this Thursday with Rob's Five Star Fishing. We'll talk to you guys soon.